Hey there, everybody. I thought with everything that's going on, I would make a YouTube video on how to create assignment in Smart Music. So that's what today's video is going to be about. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into Method Books. And I'm just going to create an assignment from a book that most people use. So I'm going to go to Essential Elements, and I'm just going to randomly open up Essential Elements Book 1. And loading times on this will depend on your internet service. All right, so <clears throat> there's a couple ways that you can do this assignment, uh, assigning of the, of the parts. I can go into here and I can open. So I'll show you this way first. And I'm just going to take something pretty basic. I'll go over to Hot Cross Buns. So number 17 in the book. And I'm going to click the Open button. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to go up to where it says Assessment. And when I click on Assessment, I have some options here. I can show the assessment. I can do a percussion clap mode just for the percussionist. Here's where you'll find the tolerance on how Smart Music is going to assess you. So for somebody who's a beginner beginner, you can definitely hit the easy tolerance. There's also lenient. Average is probably what you're going to be on most of the time. And then there's a strict tolerance. So if you have somebody who's um, older when you're making assignments, you want to hit that uh, average or strict tolerance depending on your group. So I'm going to keep it on the average tolerance and then I'm going to come right over here to the right and there's an assign button. So what this is allowing me to do is I can actually see what I'm assigning before I actually assign it. So I hit the assign button And then it brings up a few things here in Smart Music for me. So at the top of the page, it actually says what I'm assigning. There's an assignment type. I like to click the custom. And if you look over here to the right, this is what it will allow you to change. You can change the tempo and all the sight reading options. So. I have options of keeping metronome on or off, accompaniment on or off. I can even add the part for the particular student or take it off. In the cursor type, I have options. I can show the beat. The cursor can go on the note. It can just flow along where it's going to highlight that measure but it's really not going to show them or no cursor or anything at all. And we're just going to keep that on any. You can have measure highlight on or off. And sight reading you can have on or off. And in the assessment mode, allow both melodic and percussion clapping or just allow percussion clapping only. So I like to keep it on, allow both melodic and percussion clapping. That way that gives them options. And if you forgot about what you want to do as far as tolerance goes, you can click on the tolerance button here and it will actually show you all the different tolerances. So I could click on easy or I can leave it on average. Um, now, once you do that, you're going to come up to the right hand on this arrow, the next button, and I'm going to click on that. 
And right here in the center, it asks me if I want to keep the same setup for all parts, and I do. I could also click on the custom, and then I could go in here, and with each particular instrument, I have the ability to change the parameters for that particular instrument. So I think where that would come in handy is if you had uh, percussion and you wanted to tweak some things with the percussion because I know percussion can be kind of a difficult thing um, as far as assessment goes. So I'm going to come back up and I'm going to click on same for all parts. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to kind of make sure everything is the way I would like it to be. So this song is starting at the beginning and it is going through the end of the song. My tempo, I can leave this on exactly. So my, my students would have to play this at the exact tempo, which would be 77 beats per minute. <clears throat> I can also click on at least, so I can give it a minimum, or I can click on any, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> or I can click on any, and then they would have the option of choosing what tempo they would like to practice at and submit it at. So I always like to keep it on exact or at least, and then that way I know they're working towards a goal. I'm gonna click the next button again, and then I've already put in <clears throat> my rubric, my assessment, and you'll have to go in and do that, and that's possibly for another video that I'll do. So I'm just going to click on that, and then I just put a random uh, amount of points in. Uh, 2025 is usually a pretty good number, keeps everything even. And then I'm going to click the next button, and now it's going to ask me who I want to assign this to. So I'm going to click on Yes, Assign Now. And then it's going to ask me which of my classes I would like to assign that to. So I have several classes in here. And I think I'm going to choose uh, my beginner group since this is a beginner song. And it's asking me when I would like this to be due. So I have my options. I can give them a week. I can give them two weeks. Um, with the way kids are and the way things generally are when it comes to online learning, I like to give them plenty of time. So I might put on there May 1st. And they can get that assignment done now or in the future all the way up to May 1st. I can also click on this and allow them to have late submissions. So if I wanted to do that, let's say uh, I will allow them to go up to May 14th. I can click on that. And now I'm allowing that. And then down at the bottom, this is very important, include late enrolled students. So that means if somebody's not in that class and you have that clicked and then they enroll after you've made this assignment, they will get that same assignment in their gradebook. I also have the option to assign to all students. And maybe there's some students who I don't want to assign that to. And I could click on that button and then I could give that to those particular students or none of those students. It's my choice. So I would like to show you the other way that we can make this same assignment. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to my method books. And I'm going to bring up Essential Elements again. And I'm going to go back into book one. And I'm going to open up that same exact assignment just a different way, just to show you how this part works. So you have two different ways that you can assign things. All right, so in the beginning, we had this Assign button. So I'm going to click on the Assign button. Now this way doesn't allow me to see the assignment 
before I actually post it. Well, before I actually click on to assign it. So that's this would be a way that I already know the book, I already know the assignment I'm going to give the kids. So then I just click on it and I hit assign. Then once I do that, then it's going to bring me right to uh, all the customizing parts of this assignment. So in the beginning, if I assign this way, I don't actually see what I'm assigning. I kind of have to already know what I'm assigning. So now again, I'm going to click on the custom. And then just like I showed you, I can change all these different parameters. And then I want to click next. And everything else is exactly the same. It's just clicking on that assign button. Now at this point, I can see what I'm assigning. And then I can do all those changes also to where I can do at least and I'll say for my beginners, they have to at least do 50 beats. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hit the next button. And then all the other same things apply as the first way that I showed you how to assign. And then of course, I'm going to want to assign now. And I can go in and I can choose any class. So that's how you would go about doing an assignment for your students in Smart Music. So I feel like this was a, a pretty good overview on how to assign um, band music or how to assign things out of the book. And there's tons of books in here. Um, I can do some more videos on uh, things in Smart Music. So in the comments below, if you have something particular that you're struggling with and you want me to go over that and make a video and help you, please put that down below. I will read it and I will try to make a video for that. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you're getting more videos as I put that content out. Thank you again and I'll see you in my next video.